Hello my Virgos, welcome in for your weekly reading. I just want to take a moment to say how much I love you guys. I might not respond to all the comments, but I do read all the comments and I always just feel so much love and support from my Virgo community and I'm like forever grateful. So let's dive in to this week's reading and see what we got going on here. Uh, Mercury is finally out of retrograde, so within the next week we should be out of the shadow period. Mars is going to move into Leo. Venus is eventually going to move into Leo. For my Leo Venuses here, or any Virgos with Leo placements, this is your hot girl, hot boy summer, okay? You are about to have so many options in love, so much luck in love, so much fun this summer. So let's let's give a little bit of clapping for that. All right, so let's dive in. The song I got on shuffle was Si Te Vas by Shakira. Um, si te vas, si te vas, ya no tienes que venir por mí. Um, it's basically saying, she's basically talking about a situation where, <laughs> this, this is actually an old song of hers, so if you know what's going on with her now, it still resonates. It's talking about a situation where her person leaves her for somebody else and she's basically saying like when you get tired of that person when that person screws you over and you decide that you want to come back for me when she you find out that she can't even brush her teeth well and you want to come back for me don't because i won't be here i won't be here uh i won't be available so that's the vibe that I got for the week. But for those of you that don't resonate with romantic, I feel like on a bigger level with this song, something's leaving your life, but it's kind of like a rejection is divine protection type of situation. So something is going to be potentially leaving your life this week, but this gives you an opportunity to shut the door, to close that chapter, to close the door on this thing. So that's, First and foremost, the first message coming out. Let's get some um, oracle cards though and see. We have, listen, silence your mind and pay attention. What is happening for my Virgos this week, please? Caution, keep your guard up. Um, so for some of you, this could be that something is leaving your life. But for some of you, for some of you, this could be that something that has left your life is about to show back up. Um, and you're, you're being advised to like, listen and trust your intuition during this time. We have freedom, spread your wings. See, this is like kind of the gist that I'm getting. There's something that either leaving your life or that has left your life, but it's like for your highest good, because now you're like, you're free. You're free of this burden this karma contract is up i feel like this week there is a contract that is closing we have one of these that was stuck at the table we have the moon subconscious mind feminine intuition your intuition is going to be really important this week okay so listen to your intuition trust your intuition um because there might be a situation where you feel a little bit of apprehension um let's see Moonology cards, what's happening for my Virgos this week? A new romantic cycle begins. Uh uh uh. I do feel like new contracts. This is like you're clearing the way for new soul contracts, new relationships, platonic, romantic, whatever. Um, but you're entering a new era, okay? Entering a new cycle, a new romantic cycle. Some of you that's going to be literal. Some of you that's going to mean like new, new contracts, new soul contracts. Expect a powerful change. Ooh. Okay. New moon eclipse. Expect a powerful change. What is this going to be? The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon and Capricorn. Releasing some kind of authority. Okay. Something that has authority over your mind, body, soul, spirit. And that can be a thought, a limitation, 
Um, Capricorn to me is always kind of the devil. So you're breaking free from some kind of change. I do think there's like with this new moon eclipse, expect powerful change. There is going to be some kind of dramatic shift happening for you. Um, communication is key. Could be a conversation. Sometimes I feel like a lot of these readings, like if you watched last week's, it kind of is like a snowball. Like I feel like the themes are the same around the same time, but just take what resonates. Um, I think that, I think that like, it might not be something big and dramatic, but it could be something like that does create a big shift. What's happening for my Virgos this week, please? Aries, I am. Interesting. Okay. And then we have 10th house, the world. So 10th house is career, public image, reputation, um, the public. So some kind of achievement. You're going to go like there's something that you could be going for this week. There's something you could be going for. Some kind of achievement, some kind of recognition you could be receiving. What does this have to do with? Scorpio, I transform. So we have like Scorpio energy, transformation energy, death, rebirth. I do feel like there's something you're, you're going to go for this week. And there could be conversations, communications that are being, that are being had this week. Um, lots and lots in talks. One more. I want one more of these. Grand cross provoker. Yeah. So, uh, and I think last week's was kind of similar. It was like, there's something provoking you into this, okay? There's something that could be provoking you into this situation. Like you kind of have no choice or option. And it doesn't have to be as negative as that sounds. It's more like you're stuck at a crossroads, so you got to choose. You, you can't just stay sitting. you got to choose a path and um, you're, taking, you're taking action bottom of the deck we have this star card so this is all about healing it's about wish fulfillment it's about hope um whatever happened that like the door is shut there is this feeling of like relief from that and being free of that like okay i'm glad that left my life because now i can finally shut the door on that something like that overall energy of the week we have the four of cups so here is that feeling of missed opportunities, um, being stuck on the fact that like the three cups have spilled, but you aren't noticing the universe handing you like a certain cup. I do feel like this week you're going to see the blessing, the blessing in, um, or you're going to start moving towards like the blessing of whatever it is that left your life. It pushed, it's pushing you in a direction. It's forcing you to choose the right path for you. You might not see that this week, but later on in life, you will see that. But I do feel like you're kind of at the point where you are seeing the blessing in it. Okay. Um, why is this four of cups here? There's something that you're going to realize this week that's going to help you look at that whatever happened whatever left your life something happening for you this week that you're going to be like you know what if that situation wouldn't have, have left my life i would have never done this or i would have never felt like i would have never been able to accept this opportunity that's showing up for me six of cups for some of you this could be somebody coming back from the past and communicating their remorse and regret okay because we do have the Six of Cups, which is um, a reunion card, reconciliation. Um, I, I, I almost feel like you could run into somebody from your past that maybe at one point in time you really wanted to be with this person. And when you run into this person, you're going to be like, God, I dodged a bullet or something happening like that. Like, I just think that like there's something happening for you that you're like, man, I dodged a bullet. Okay. Um, let's get one more in here. Overall energy of the week. The Queen of Cups. Wow. So water sign energy could be connecting with a water sign. This Queen of Cups is also giving me like we just had Mother's Day too. So some of you this could be about like um, connecting with your mother. I don't know. It doesn't have to always be like a romantic partner. Um, could be like you're reconciling with a mother here. 
or like a strong feminine energy. But I do feel like you're in your feels. You're very connected to your intuition right now. So there's something that you could be emotionally kind of revising and seeing from a different perspective. All right. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands. So again, forward movement. I do feel like there's something that you are, sh something in the past that you are going to shut the door on. The Ten of Swords. Um, and the Seven of Swords. Interesting. And the Six of Wands. So at the end of all of this is this victory. And I do feel like this Seven of Swords is talking about you, um... Like it's resonating with me more like a strategy because when we have the six of wands here, this is like strategy and victory, strategy and victory. So there might be some kind of moves that you're making and you're not really communicating these moves. All right. But I see some kind of forward movement. I see at the core of the week, it's like you are leaving this 10 of swords behind whatever this hurt, this betrayal, this self-sabotage, this thing that has brought pain into your life whether that's a thought, whether that's a person, whether that's a situation, you are, you're, you're done. But I don't think you are done in a way that it's like, I'm done, I'm moving forward. It's almost like you have to be kind of strategic about it. But I feel like you have that victory, you know, like your, your strategy works. Something about strategy, okay? Why is the Eight of Crystals here, please? This is putting the work and putting the effort in. You've put the work and the effort in in some area of your life that you're kind of feeling confident and ready to take action. And I think that's like this um, achievement that's happening for you or you kind of it's like you're 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 winning the chess game here. There's something that you've put a lot of time and effort into. You've waited for the right moment and the right moment is here the nine of wands. So this could be like, because it's giving wounded warrior. So I feel like I do feel like whatever this is, it's something that happened in the past. It's something that happened in the past, you were wounded. So you had to you couldn't move as quickly as you wanted to, you actually had to tend to your wounds, you had to heal, you had to put that work in you had to put that patience in, you had to wait a long time, maybe like eight months, eight months, is something significant something could have happened eight months ago for you and you are just now healing to the point where it's like I've sat and I've been patient that's been the smart move here and now is the time that I finally feel ready to take action but if you would have taken action prematurely you wouldn't have been ready for it you know but now it feels like you're ready so what is this two of wands here what is this two of wands here? The five of wands. See, because it does feel like whatever it is that you're moving towards, it, you are going into battle. You are going into battle. So that's kind of where I'm getting this strategy aspect here. It's like I was wounded before. I was vulnerable before. I had to sit and I had to put the work in. I had to protect myself and heal before I could step back into battle. Because if you would have done it prematurely, you wouldn't you wouldn't be victorious. So this has been like a strategy where it's like I have to like go into hiding until I'm ready and like um, prepared prepared for battle. Um, what is this quote unquote battle here? The world card in reverse. Oh my gosh, this is something that's like closing it out. Like I'm not ready to close this out. Um, and it could be going like internal battle, but it's something that's open ended, something that's open ended, a cycle that has not closed out. It is going to be closed out here with the Ten of Swords. And um, <sighs> something about it. Listen, 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 listen. Something about it, because the Ten of Swords isn't. Ten of Swords isn't a, like a, a sunshiny walk in the park card, okay? So something about you going into battle, it's like whatever this is, this world card, the thing that's left open-ended, in order to like 
step into this, it, it's going to be pain. There's some, it's going to be painful, but that's why you have to be prepared. If you're vulnerable, then it's going to be even more like painful. It's all metaphorical, right? Okay. Why is the 10 of swords here? Why is the 10 of swords here? The magician. What is, why is this, why is it coming up that it's kind of going to be painful here? The queen of swords. Yeah, because you're going to have to like stand your ground. You're going to have to stand your boundaries and you're going to have to be like almost cold and calculated about it. Um, and there's something that I feel like you're going to be shutting the door on, closing the door on, cutting it out cutting it out like done enough but this is why you've had to kind of build up this strength okay you've had to build up this strength because there is some kind of cycle in your life that you haven't been fully ready to let go of but now is the time and it's going to it's gonna hurt to let it go but then once you free yourself of it you're free that's the vibe it's giving. So why is the Seven of Swords here, please? What is the Seven of Swords doing here? The Tower card. Okay. <laughs> Something's not going to go according to plan. You have, like, a strategy. You have an idea of, like... Um, but there is something that gets kind of, like... Like, some kind of unpredictability that comes in. It's almost like... You know, if you were ready for battle, like you're, okay, I've been waiting for the right time, but the universe is gonna kind of be like, haha, that battle's come a little bit earlier, but trust us, you're ready. But yeah, you're still a little bit like, am I ready? Am I ready for this? Because we have news coming in. There's some kind of news, some kind of communication, some kind of clarity coming in that's about to like throw you off of your game. You're gonna be like, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this. This wasn't part of the plan. Um, rarely does the universe ever work like that. What is this news and communication coming in? The lover's card. Sometimes that's a choice. Like you might not realize that you have a choice. You're going to be pulled in a couple different directions. There's a choice that you have to make and you're going to be like, Hmm, this wasn't, this wasn't part of the plan. This wasn't, I wasn't expecting this. So six of wands, though, means that you end in like this victory. What is the six of wands doing here? The seven of wands. So it's like from the six of wands to the seven of wands. So it's like confidence, pushing forward, victory, homecoming. Like six of wands to me is like coming home after a win. Coming home after a win, but seven of wands is like but we still got to push forward um like we ain't gonna let anybody see that we're hurt right now <laughs> that 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 battle kind of nearly took us to the to the very like last breath and we're not gonna we're not gonna let anybody see that no no um what is happening here the three of swords this is what i'm saying like there's something here you won the battle, but no, I don't want to say it was you won the battle, but not the war. I think that, I think it's more of what I'm saying. There's something here about whatever this victory is. It is, it is because you had to do something that was like, you had to confront some kind of hurt, some kind of heartbreak, but you're pushing through. I don't think you're gonna, you're not gonna let anybody see you cry, okay? You aren't gonna let anybody see you cry, but I do think that this is a victory that you're kind of like, you know, it was like, it had to happen. I had to close that chapter, but at the same time, like, it's sad, it's sad. That's okay. Um, what is going on for my Virgos this week? I'm going to pull from a couple more from here and then I move into the extended. I'll get the archetype cards, the tea leaf tarot gets super accurate. We'll do the romance angels for those of you that resonate with love, some message cards. Let's see. What does this supposed battle have to do with? The four of wands. 
celebration. What is this opposed to battle? The Ace of Cups, like new love, new beginnings in love. I do feel like you have new beginnings happening in love. Um, and I do think that with these new beginnings, you can't, you're not going to be able to let the past back in. So I do feel like there's something that you're going to be made aware of that you have to heal. You have to heal, um, from the past. Like I can't move forward until I close this door for good type of thing. Um, what is this door that you're closing? Ten of Wands, burdens, baggage, releasing it, like letting it go. What is this door that you're closing? The Star card. I do feel like it's like a healing thing and it's like a vulnerability thing. Um, sometimes we have to do things vulnerable. Sometimes we have to do things scared. The Queen of Crystals. And it's like, oh, you're ready. Like, you're ready for this. Page of Swords. It's something that I feel like you're going to feel like I'm not ready for this, but you are. You are. Um, what is the part of this that's going to be painful? The Awakening. The Judgment. And the King of Cups. The Ace of Wands. And the Fool card. So this could be another water sign. I think there's a lot of emotions and vulnerability happening here. And there's a lot of, um, like some of you could have somebody coming back in from the past and saying all the things that you always wanted them to say. But you might be like, it's too late. And not only that, it's like, I can't put myself through this again. And so it's like, you're going to have to make a decision here. Some of you might decide it's, it's, it is going to be your choice. It is going to be your choice, you know? Um, so some of you might be deciding towards this situation, but a lot of you, I feel like are going to shut the door, like shut the door. But I feel like there's somebody who could be coming forward and revealing deeper emotions to you or revealing some kind of vulnerability you could be having some kind of honest conversation and there's something about this that it doesn't align with something else in your life. So you're going to have to make a decision and you're kind of going to be forced to make a decision and you're going to be like, um, this wasn't on my bingo card. Like this wasn't something that I expected would happen. Like maybe this person is like, um, like you have like a business opportunity and then you have this person coming back in and they just don't coincide. So you have to choose one or the other type of situation, um, whatever that entails. But I do think something is going to be like final complete this, this week, whenever you watch this. So in the extent, I'm going to dive in a little bit deeper. So if you want to join my membership community, the link is down below in the description box, or you can click the join button. It also helps out the channel a lot. Um, so I am greatly appreciative and you get access to all extended. So I will see you over there. Bye.